Hey, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Hey, it's the Finesse Two Time and Glorilla concert in Rochester. Uh, things went down there. Things went down, man. I got the full detail. I got the full story. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, like this video, watch this whole thing. Comment down below, man. Let me know where you're from, who you a fan of. So this show, Finesse Two Times and Glorilla, it happened in Rochester. We don't know if it was New York or Minnesota, but shout out to both. So what happened was is that somebody, while the two of them were on stage, somebody pulled out something and they made a loud noise and they people heard something ricochet and you know how it is nowadays it's 2023 when anybody hears some type of loud noise people is always going to react like if somebody drops like a piece of metal on the ground or somebody claps their hand too much too loud or something like that they could even handshake and dap up so like exact that it makes a sound and it echoes and whenever anyone hears a loud noise now they start running people start rushing and everything and what happened is is that we just heard from the witness and the source that they seen people on the ground they seen people running so fast that the people that was ahead of them got pushed over and that they ran and literally hundreds and thousands of people was stepping over folks and this was what caused three to four people to get gone and basically like condone Condolences to the families and everything like that. We just got done hearing from the witness and they was describing everything in full detail to the facts about how First of all, they said that the people that this happened to, it wasn't anything about them getting hit by anything that from the noise. So basically the noise caused the crowd to have a reaction. And when the crowd reacted, they reacted by running as fast as they can to the exit door. And so what happens is, is that the people that's already closer to the exit door and they don't notice that the people from the front of the stage is running so fast to the back to the whole uh, exit that they, they don't expect people to be running on them so quick. So what happens is, is that just like the Travis Scott concert, people start getting pushed, but there's no room for them to go anywhere. So they end up falling and that's how the people end up trampling them. They seen it and they said that it's confirmed to be a trampling and that they're going to figure out exactly who this happened to, make sure that they take care of everybody. Now, when you look at from the perspective of Finesse Two Times and Glorilla, like they actually had to get rushed off stage too because when they heard the noise, two of the Samoan security guards came and blocked Glorilla's view to make sure nothing happened to her because they was part of CMG security guards. And then Finesse Two Times, on the other hand, he, somebody came and ducked his head. He had to go off. Like he sprinted off and got to the backstage and they locked the doors and literally put the two by fours in front of it. So nobody could get in. Like they even put little signs on the window just to let them know that it's a secured room because they thought that everything was going down with some type of active scene or something like that. So they had to take all precautions basically and get those two off the stage because they are at this point, the whole talent that assets and they can't have the CMG people going down like that. And so a lot of people are thinking there was a person of interest or somebody that made that noise. So there's something that caused that noise, whether it's a person or something falling or anything like that. It could have been a door slamming, but for that noise to be so loud in a concert, it had to have been something made. That's why a lot of people are thinking that it could have been from somebody popping off. And it's all fun and games at a concert. It's all fun and games and everything until somebody pops off and people get to run it and you fall and everything else just happens to go by so fast that you don't people didn't realize that there was people who left on the other side of the whole exit they didn't even know that three to four people ended up getting sent up in this like they went home and didn't find out until just minutes later when everything is every like they just heard about it from their local news in Rochester and what you got to understand is that security acted quick because they thought it was a situation where there was somebody was targeting the artists and so that's what they currently is looking at they reviewing all footage of the arena and they looking at the facial recognition and they're going to try to determine who it was that made that noise because that noise would cause such a disturbance for everything else to be set in motion. And it was basically just like a domino effect that led to the three to four people getting sent up. If that noise didn't happen, that concert would have went on like normal and everybody would have made it home that night. And so if something going on where they trying to get at finesse two times, don't forget, this is a this is a CMG and finesse two times concert. 
D Glorilla is with CMG. So if anybody from CMG is trying to get at Finesse two times from the money bag yo situation, from the Yogati situation, it could have been something related to that allegedly. And now this is just one of them things that people was saying out there and that uh, they thinking out there about how, OK, Finesse two times already has some sort of history with CMG. And you heard like, you know, from just a few months ago about how he was no longer working with CMG like that because they was trying to sign him in the summer when he came home his first day out and but see Jay Prince Jr. and everybody intercepted him first and so they thinking that since they had their fallout with CMG is any as anybody from that trying to slide at the concert or was it one of his own personal beefs that he might have had was this related to any type of street situation that finesse two times might have got himself into because this is not the first concert that finesse two times had where something went down like that and you seen the one where they were in the tent and somebody tried to snatch his chain and try to do a whole altercation there, try to fight him or swing on him or something. And basically from that day moving forward, everybody had to have known that you got to watch where you move and how you move at a Finesse Two Times concert because anything could go down at any moment, especially with these rappers nowadays, what they talk about, what they actually is trying to like, what they're actually projected into this world, what they asking to be brought upon themselves by talking about the things that they talk about is nothing ever good that ends up following after them and so that's why what these things end up happening like something like this ends up happening because they not ever talking about anything that's like positive and stuff like that so all of these things happen because the people the type of people that go to these uh finesse two time shows and everything like that they're not just some people who's out there trying to dance and listen to they're really out here trying to like show you know, the toughness and everything. Maybe some people was going there and they getting way lit with the whole crew, taking the crew out. There's a lot of people there for, you know, other reasons than actual music. And so what you got to understand is that one of those reasons that people could be there to try to get revenge, try to target, try to finesse, finesse two times, maybe try to snatch his chain. Who knows what? Right. And in other cases, it's targeting and people sending hits and doing drills. And so that's just another one of the things that could have been a motive that led to the things that led like that noise had to have came from something. And so a lot of people are thinking that the it was from somebody popping off and that led to the trampling and then the three to four people. And it could be more. It's probably some other people who could have also got like scratched up, scuffed up, bruised up, you know, anything like that. And so basically, you know, you got to people got to just be more careful out there when they go into concerts around large crowds. You got to know where your exits are. You got when you walk into any room, you got to know exactly how to get out of that room. If something wants to happen, if it's a window nearby, you need to know how to work that window and make sure you know how to jump out of it and, the, and how high you are up and elevate and what you know how much time you have to react if somebody was to run up through the entrance of where you went through so you got to scope every situation and think really you know closely about how you're going to be able to um, act if something was to go down like this and that's why people actually prepare and do things like that is because of moments like this when they hear some noise and they can't sit here and try to figure out and politic about where it came from it's it's 2023. So what people are thinking is, is like they flight or flight, man. This is a, this is like a, a, a situation where it's devastating. If you just pet, if you f freeze up and pause up, something could happen to you. So you got to go. And so people is thinking, I got to go. And they're going right for that same exit. A lot of people went to that same exit and it actually wedged everybody into a specific part of this entire arena and the most crowded part already where they got wedged in because they were all going to that same exit, it caused a, a choke point into where the, that's where the people started falling at. You got to understand the whole engineering behind where they have the exits at and where the crowds of the people is going to flow to in cases like this. And that's why they got to have more exits and people just got to be more aware of their surroundings in case things happen and have to plan for things like this. And so with all that being said, man, make sure y'all subscribe to this channel, like this video, comment down below, and I'm going to catch you on the next one. Peace.